Pixie Bob Cat vs. Chartreux Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The Pixie Bob breed is thought to have started from the unplanned litter of a bobcat and a barn cat in 1985. The barn cat belonged to Carol and Brewer, and she named a female kitten Pixie. Pixie became the foundation mother for this breed. While there is no hard proof that Pixie's father was actually a wildcat, it is widely believed and accepted by breeders. The International Cat Association officially recognized the Pixie Bob as a breed in 1994. It took the American Cat Fanciers Association up until 2005 to follow suit and accept the Pixie Bob as a recognized breed. Breeders are still hoping that the Cat Fanciers Association CFA, will soon start accepting the Pixie Bob as a breed as well. With his cloak of gray fur, sober as a monk's robes, it's no wonder that the Chartreux was associated with the Carthusian order in France. The quiet mousers would have been perfect companions for members of the silent, solitary order. It's a pretty legend, but there is no real evidence that the cats were kept by the Carthusians, although perhaps they were simply not considered important enough to mention. A more likely scenario is that the cats, a natural breed, were commonly found in France at least as far back as the 18th century, performing rat patrol in stables, shops and homes. Unfortunately for the beautifully furred felines, they were also prized by furriers for their thick blue pelts. A type of luxurious wool called pile de chartreux may have taken its name from the soft, woolly coated cats. Pixie bobs have a thick double coat that needs to be brushed regularly to avoid matting and excessive shedding. The texture is woolly, like a bobcat, and can be either short-haired or long-haired. Typically, pixie bobs have a mackerel or striped coat pattern. Sometimes these stripes are accompanied by rosettes, giving the pixie bob that authentic bobcat look. A pixie bob's coat can be a variety of colors but are mostly tawny, light gray, or reddish in appearance. The chartreux has the sturdy, powerful body of a working cat wrapped in a short, thick, water-repellent coat. Besides his beautiful fur, his most distinctive feature is his deep orange eyes, set in a rounded, broad head. He has full cheeks and a sweet, smiling expression. Medium-sized ears sit high on the head. His body type is sometimes described as primitive, being husky and robust with broad shoulders and a deep chest. His relatively short and fine-boned legs rest on round, medium-sized paws that look almost dainty. A lively, flexible tail is heavy at the base, tapering to an oval tip. Don't let his ample body and solid muscle mass fool you. This is a supple, agile cat who typically weighs 7 to 16 pounds at maturity. Pick him up and you may be surprised by his heft. Chartreux grow slowly and males especially may not reach their full size until they are 4 or 5 years old. The medium short double coat has a slightly woolly texture, which varies depending on the cat's age and gender, as well as the climate in which he lives. For instance, mature males have the heaviest coats, while females or young cats may have a thinner coat or one that feels silky. The coat can be any shade of blue-gray. The tips of the fur look as if they have been lightly brushed with silver. Kittens may have the feigned imprint of tabby markings, called ghost barring, or tail rings, but by the time they mature the coat should have a bright, even tone. Completing the look are slate gray nose leather, blue lips, and rose taupe paw pads. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Pixie Bobs may have been created out of wild passion, but for the most part, Pixie Bobs are a mellow sort of cat. Pixie Bobs love to be with their owners, but Pixie Bobs are not considered hyperactive by any stretch of the imagination. These cats enjoy laid-back hang sessions with the family and have been described as dog-like in personality. Pixie Bobs bond very strongly with their families and love taking car rides and leash walks with their loved ones. This is what makes the Pixie Bob an ideal cat for families with children. Pixie Bob's ability to bond with their humans along with their patient personas make them excellent companions for children. The Chartreux might well be compared to a mime, silent but communicative and sometimes silly. Short playtimes interspersed with naps and meals are his idea of the perfect day. When he is not displaying his superb timing and pouncing ability, killing toys with abandon, or performing acrobatic flips as he chases a lure toy, he is an attentive and gentle companion who likes to stay near his people and observe their doings. He appreciates any attention he receives, especially if it involves scratching him beneath the chin or between the ears, but he's not demanding, content to follow you around devotedly, sleep on your bed and snuggle with you if you're not feeling well. He rarely uses his voice, preferring to direct your actions with a glance from his pumpkin-colored eyes. If need be, however, he may communicate with a small meow or chirp. 
Make a habit of observing him carefully and being familiar with his actions since it is unlikely that he will vocalize any discomfort or make any sound to let you know where he is. This is an adaptable cat with a middle of the road personality. He's not a social butterfly, but he's not a shy wallflower, either. Expect him to watch and wait before deciding whether to greet a guest or otherwise involve himself in a situation. His calm nature makes him suited to staying home alone while you are out earning the money for his treats and toys, but he won't object to keeping company with another cat or dog. That same good nature makes him a good travel companion for an RV enthusiast or long-distance truck driver. As long as you keep his routine similar each day, he will be a happy camper. The Chartreux has a sunny, polite disposition that makes him a pleasure to live with. This is one cat who does his best to obey the rules. Pixie Bobs do not inherently have many health issues, but basic care is a must for these large cats. An issue that can arise with Pixie Bobs is a little extra weight. Be sure to maintain your Pixie Bobs weight at a healthy point and not mistake it for him simply being a large cat. The Chartreuse Short, Fit Coat is easy to care for with weekly brushing. The coat sheds in the spring and may require extra brushing during that time. A bath is rarely necessary. If your Chartreuse does require a bath, Remember that it can take time to get the water repellent coat wet enough for bathing. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, Wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. It's a good idea to keep them as indoor-only cats to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. Given the Pixie Bob's dog-like reputation, these cats make excellent companions for homes with other pets and with children. The Pixie Bob's devotion to its family and overall loyalty makes them excellent companions for pretty much anyone. The tolerant and gentle Chartreux fits nicely in a home with children. He is more likely to walk away than to scratch if he doesn't like the way he is being handled. Parents with young children should always supervise interactions to make sure the cat isn't mistreated. He is happy to live with cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to his amiable disposition. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.